What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Got a classic riff for you, and uh, it's just such a fun song to play. Sorry I didn't have a cowbell with me. I don't have one here. My bad. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, we'll zoom in. We'll break this one down. Also, real quick, I appreciate all that extra support besides just watching these videos on YouTube. I have a link for my website down there. You know, really appreciate it, plus uh, social media stuff. So thank you. Let's zoom in. And break it down, here we go. All right, so the opening riff is based basically off an A minor G and an F chord. But we play it, you know, a little differently because we're going to be picking out some notes. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to kind of act like an, we're playing an A minor here, but we're not, we're not even going to uh, play or put our finger down on that first fret of the B note. We're just going to hold these two, okay? Then with the pick, we're going to hit... Starting on that A string, we just go down. Do, do, da. See that? Then you take your whole hand off and you play that open G string. And the reason I'm saying take your hand off is because it's going to be coming over here to get your ring finger on the third fret of the low E and your middle finger on that second fret of the A as part of that G chord. We're never going to get to that high E, so you can just think of these two. Kind of like how you would for a C chord, but right here. So when you put those together... So when we get to that G shape there, we hit the strings consecutively. E, A, D, G. So, watch again. next one's based on that F chord, but there's a cool little thing that you can do. We're going to play an F power chord instead of an F bar chord. We're playing the F power chord, but we're not barring. We're going to let the open D and the open G string be in there. But then with the first fret there and the third fret on the A, the exact same picking that we did on the G chord. Watch what happens when you put them together. So you get this G string. You know, it's kind of ringing out. And now I'm going to do it real slow for you. to the G, the A minor shape, open G, the G chord, F power chord, back to the G. And what's helping me with the picking, um, you know, if you're really good at alternating your picking every note, like down, up, down, up, down, up, you can try that. What worked for me on this one, you know, to even play it up to speed is I'm kind of, I'm kind of dragging the pick across. I'm not like going, you know, I'm not trying to pick down on every one. I'm kind of raking it across a little bit, like. the G chord. And I even have my pinky planted here to help drag across. Helps, you know, uh, stabilize my hand. Mm -hmm. 
So the other change, it's really the only other thing you need, and you could play it as power chords, you could play it as your regular open cowboy chords. Um, I'm gonna do it as bar chords, and it's gonna be F major, then up a whole step to G major, and then A minor for twice as long. So it's F, G, A minor. Then the next time through, F, E minor, A minor. So watch again. F, G, A minor, twice as long. F, E minor, A minor, G, F, G, A minor, G, F, G, A minor, G, F, G, A minor, G, F, G. And the, uh, the A minor, G, F, G, A minor is really the same thing as without the kind of riffy thing. So you could even start to throw that in there. There's two guitars going on in the recording. So F, G, A minor, F, E minor, A minor, G, F, G, A minor. There was. Thank you so much for hanging out with me uh, for the last few minutes. I really do appreciate it. I also appreciate that extra support, like going to my website and the link down there or liking Guitar Jams on Facebook, all that stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, and we'll see you again real soon, I promise. See ya.